What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Nostalgic Toys Plus. Oh, yeah, I got a Gundam treat for y'all today. We are doing some unboxing slash reviews <laughs> of mini Gundams today. Oh, yeah. So I got my Blitz Gundam, Gundam Converge, and I got two. Not one, but two Ultimate Luminous Mini Gundams as well. Now, some of y'all probably have seen these in Hobby Lobby or other hobby places like that or whatnot. And honestly, funny fact, story, when I saw these in Hobby Lobby, I thought that, oh, okay, maybe this is just the little light part that I can add to an actual Gundam kit, you know? But no, it's actually a figure that lights up. <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah. look, I'm new to this whole Gundam model kit building. So, yeah, I know that was probably a new mistake, but whatever. But I know now. <laughs> so, we finna go ahead and get to this unboxing. But first, let me start off with the smallest of the group before I get to those. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, those kind of have to be put together. But anyway, we'll see. But yeah, but I wanted to get this little mini Blitz Gundam because I'm curious to see how it is. Let's see if it's something I have to put together as well, or is it already whole or what? Okay, looks like it's. Oh, nice. Okay, so for the most part, it's put together. And I'm guessing this is a. Okay, so this is a stand. Let me open this up real quick. Yeah, so it comes a little black stand for it to stand on. And looks like these are some other parts. Get this open. So I got that piece out. Alright. That one. No, like this is the weapons. A weapon, I guess, maybe. Alright. And the actual Gundam itself. And his head. <laughs> All right, so I don't think I need a white paper enough. Okay. All right, and nothing else in there, right? Cool. All right. Put you over here on the side for a moment. All right. Mini figure. <laughs> so, let's see. Head goes here. Nice. All right, and... It's supposed to be like that, so... Okay, there we go. Okay, you can do the snaps. Oh, something else came off. Oh, I think one of these, thankfully, these snap on and snap off. So, cool. All right, and let's see. This is the weapon. Leave goes on like this, based on the picture over there. Oh yeah, oh, it slides on in too. Cool. Okay. And lastly, this other this part of this weapons too. Okay. All right. Now add the little base. And there we go. <laughs> a mini Gundam. I'll see if I can see it like that better. Yeah. Actually, this is pretty cool. <laughs> of course, you know I got this one because this is one of the cooler Gundams I saw out of the ones they had at Hobby Lobby. But you know if I had saw my Wing Zero, I would have got it, right? <laughs> yeah. So since I didn't see it, I got this one because this was the nice looking one too all right 
so yeah so for the most part it's a miniature figure you know very 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 limited articulation excuse me you know some arm articulation as you can see yeah it looks like these parts can come off and actually yeah a lot of these huh you know i wonder if these parts come off so easily because they got a nice line for this so i'm wondering if these parts come off so easy to where you could just mix and match these parts and kind of make a custom mini gundam that's probably the case cool all right all right all right all right so if i get another one of those then i'm gonna probably do a separate video to where i unbox it put it together of course and then see if i can exchange some of the parts on it and with this one but yeah so it's a cool mini gundam i like him <laughs> yep so you can see he's not very big at all but he, does, he is very detailed so i like that aspect so i'm gonna put him on the side and let us get to these put you right there there we go all right now we get to the main event let's get to these ultimate luminous all right and as you can see it's like there's four in this line well i think it's pretty much as three because two of them the rx 70 2 it's just a matter whether you get the one with the beam saber or the one with the blaster or beam rifle and then it got the two versions of the zaku okay nice very nice packaging too you know what let's open the good guy first yeah all right so let's see what we got going on in here okay so that's it okay cool that's it all right good tape there we go. All right, so for the most part, he's pretty much built. Just a few pieces of that I put together. And this must be the battery pack. Yeah, that's a battery pack there. Okay. Okay, and this is his beam rifle. I will say that about Gundam and these model kits or whatnot. It's actually kind of hard to mess them up as far as putting the wrong parts together because these parts are very specific and fit only in certain ways. So that actually helps newbies like me <laughs> when it comes to putting them together. You know, it makes it hard for me to actually mess up. So I like that aspect about these kits. But the actual model kits and even these little mini Gundams like what I'm opening now. Alright. Here is the shield. Okay. Oops, sorry. Alright. That's fine. That's better. Alright. So I am missing. Hmm. Okay, one thing I'm noticing. Wait a minute, did I um hold up? Hmm. Well, I was thinking there would be maybe a few citizens of instruction <laughs> maybe oh but i guess it's saying hey look it's about eight years old and up walter okay all right fine 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 i'll figure it out <laughs> okay so fortunately i am familiar with this gun so i kind of know how he looks anyway all right so i got that 
Hmm. Okay, this is his fist that's already attached to the gun. Okay. Put that back on there. Now, uh, hmm, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get the rest of the body put together, and then I should hopefully be able to figure out how that battery goes in. Okay, so no, not necessarily articulation. These are more like a statue. Type thing. Okay. Good to know. So like that, like that, like that. Okay, it gets in the shield. Goes here. Most part, he is put together. There we go. Now, this. Yeah, this part, you, you, it might have been cool if they gave just a little bit of instruction. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much guessing at this point how this works. Actually, how does this, the light even come on, as a matter of fact? Hmm. I'm thinking this is a whole piece, so they're actually supposed to go inside of him so to where I'm not supposed to, you know, take nothing out. But how does it actually light up, though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe. <sighs> Maybe I should have made this a live video or premiere to where people could have been talking to me while I'm doing it. <laughs> well, now I don't have access to live yet. Yet. So, hopefully that'll come soon. All right, um, does it go in here? Okay, so it does go in. Okay, well, okay, so let's see. All right, so he's put together. Uh, I don't see an on button. Very interesting. <laughs> Maybe I should look up a YouTube video on how this supposed to work. <laughs> um, uh oh. Okay, well, let me put that back on. Yep, like I said, they come off, but they go right back on. So I'm gonna like that part. So, well, I mean, cool looking figure. I like that part, but I'm just trying to figure out how does he activate hmm okay let me open this back up and say something I'm guessing that that went in well okay I am back so it turns out <laughs> uh, you gotta read that fine print for this I don't know if y'all can see it, but basically the instruction sheet she posted download. So I went ahead, took time and looked at the instruction sheet and true enough, it was actually simple. I just didn't realize this right here, that part at the bottom, it's actually a switch. There we go, see? Now, all right, so this goes in here. That, this goes there 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's one. And now let's go ahead and get this second one open. Now that I know what I'm doing, <laughs> I can probably build him a little bit faster. We'll see. <laughs> oh, man. And I guess maybe that's the future. Instructions not included. Download them. <laughs> All right, so let's see. He comes with some nice accessories, too. So that's his. So, yeah. It's another light switch, so let me see. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right. So let's get all of these pieces, gotta get his axe. guy together mm -hmm. so that's where his light goes right. yeah. let me get the rest of him put together first I say it is quick and easy assembly but like I said these are pretty much statues so articulation is minimal you know the arms of course may move and want to say the heads may turn a little bit but that's pretty much about it but I'm gonna be sure that once I get this one put together and test it out one arm okay all right i like that part it seems like he comes with more pieces than the actual rx78-2 okay yeah so that's another arm piece and okay i can change up with this one nice okay oh i guess yeah because of the whole gun piece yeah that's why okay hmm. so with these parts even though you know it's not the same as a model kit true enough but with the way these parts come loose and fit in it makes you really think that these actually can go interchangeable you know if you get let's just say all of the set you know you could probably put some green <laughs> basically some of the green pieces from this one probably can put on this one and vice versa so that's a plus all right so yeah so that's a whole additional arm that it comes with with the weapon and i'm just using the one with the actual blade axe that they use all right so now let's turn this on first there we go and put you inside here and attach you uh oh it came off like it in just a moment right bam bam Ah, there we go. All right. <laughs> very, very interesting. Very cool. 
Let me bring this camera down so y'all can see better. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You know what? I think we got too much light going on. Let me let me fix that real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, hmm. And maybe, well, no, 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 no. Let me see it like this first. So, yeah, as you all can see, it definitely lights up quite well on the inside. <laughs> uh, nice. Maybe just a little bit more light. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. But, yeah, so these are actually rather cool. I like this fact because you know when you have the model kits of these figures you wish you could actually make them light up you know just like in you know, anime and all that especially with the glowing eyes so these are actually very nice I like these very much now on the positive sides of course they light up hello <laughs> and they look great as a matter of fact pretty decent size you know they are smaller than the actual model kits you know and actually i think i got a model kit right here yep i do so yeah so this is the rx78-2 model kit entry grade one and this is the one over 144 scale so he's just about close to half the size of him so yeah but I do like this light up fat. Now, on the, I don't want to say negative side, but on the not as positive side, <laughs> even though the articulation, I mean, I kind of wish it had more. I'm not saying it had to be on par with the model kit, no, but mm, I kind of wanted to at least have some leg articulation as well, you know? But I guess these are mainly to be I guess consider mini Gundam like statues so to speak you know mini figures and all that so they didn't worry about too much articulation and I gotta understand that I get that because it's still a cool figure I'm not gonna lie it really is and I'm glad I bought them you know and just having the little Zaku with that red eye <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that's that's awesome that is that is I wish I knew how to figure out a way and I'm sure there are some awesome builders out there who already done this, you know, because I'm the new, I'm still learning this whole model kit building. I really wish I can do this with him. Like, make him actually light up, you know? Actually have the parts for that. But who knows? Maybe in this whole model kit journey that I'm on, I may be able to find out how to do that. But yeah, so I just want to come on here today to actually show off these mini Gundams. And mobile suits let me put this one away and bring back the little miniature one as well yeah there we go so yeah so i just want to come and show you all these little miniature gundams that i got from hobby lobby and hey if you all got these what y'all think about them because i like them overall yes i wish they all had articulation true enough but I think there were some cool buys, you know, just having the little miniature light up Gundams like this and mobile suit. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's really awesome. But let me know in the comment section what y'all think about these mini Gundams, light up Gundams. <laughs> Is this something that you all may be interested in buying perhaps yourself or you're thinking, eh, I'm good with the model kits or what? So thanks again for tuning in. If you would, please do me a solid, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. Of course, I want to keep this channel growing and naturally I'm going to keep bringing you content like this, old school, new school, school in between, toys, collectibles, figures, and of course, Gundam. <laughs> but thanks again for being here. I greatly appreciate you all. Take care. Be blessed. Have a toy-rific day. Peace.